What if the power source is not available at the edge, but we still want to use the fiber optic cable to set up the IP camera system? We can still wire the power code in parallel with this fiber, fiber optic cable from the back end to the edge. But we, we need to deal with the power loss. So when you choose the edge device like the media converter, the media converter needs to be able to take in the wide range power inputs and with the built-in power regulator. So even there's voltage drop, you still have the standard PoE output. All right, first, let me just make a wire from the first fiber optic connector to the second one. This is the factory made fiber optic cable. So I don't need to do the fusion in the field. The LC connector has been built in the factory and 100% test. What I need to do just wire the cable and plug and plate. And we also need the power code. This is the cable to send the power from the first terminal box to the second terminal box. So in this case, I, even there's no power source available at the edge, I still can using the power. First, let me just make the connection for the terminal box point eight. and also the power, power cable. We need to wire the power cable in parallel. Let's take a look at inside of the congestion box. The blue one is the LC adapter and the green one just for the power. The fusion plate is still reserved, so if you prefer using the fusion, still can take it. First, let me just, just install the fiber optic cable. You have to pass through the gran. Now, enter the inside of the terminal box. So we're going to put the terminal cable to the adapter. Also, you have to pass the power cook. And now, it's quite important to, to just have the right sequence. I'm going to put the uh, Blue, uh, put the red line on the left and the black one on the right. All right now, I have just finished finished the connection for the first congestion box. Let me just move to the point B. The connection is pretty much the same. I have wired the fiber optic cable and power cable from the first terminal box to the second terminal box. Next, I'm going to add the data and power to the first terminal box so we can use at the edge by getting from the second terminal box. This is the main router with the data. I will need this media converter to convert the digital signal to fiber optic signal so it can be traveled through this fiber optic cable. This is the mini, mini media converter. First, let me just power up the 
media converter. And I also need this short punch code to link the media converter to our main router to get the data. And the next thing is the short punch code we're going to use to link the transceiver to one of the fiber optic cable. We just need to use this short punch code. You may wonder why we need only single fiber optic cable because this is the BIDI media transceiver. It's using different wavelength to send and receive the data. So just one fiber optic cable will be enough to sending and receiving the data. So I'm going to get one of the fiber optic cable, fiber optic cable and just connect to the adapter. The data is ready. We also need the power. We are using this low voltage, DC55 voltage. So first I'm going to hand up the power data. And now I will just put the power cook to the green adapter. So the power will go through this power cook, power cable to the edge. It's important to match the positive and negative, otherwise it may just damage your edge IP device at the edge. So I'm going to use in the brown to match the red and also the blue to match the black. Now the connection is almost complete. What I need to do is just plug this power cook to the AC power outlet. You're not going to see it because it's just not under the camera side. All right, now we got both power and data ready at the edge. In the next step, I'm going to install the IP device by taking the both power and data from this, the second terminal boss. This is the video recording system. I have connected this recorder to the main router by using Ethernet cables. So the recorder can get the data from the main router. Now let me just move to the edge and install this IP camera. Before we can connect the fiber optic cable to the camera, we still need this outdoor media converter. The media converter can convert the fiber optic signal to digital signal. Also, take the power from the DC input. There are already voltage regulator built into this media converter. So even if there's voltage drop, it still can output the standard PoE. Let me just take off all the gram. We also need to install this SRP module. The SRP module just will link the fiber optic cable to the congestion box. Right now, let me in insert the SRP module. Once it, it has been done, we can use this short punch code to link the media converter to the congestion box. All right, let, let me move the gran, pass through the gran. So I'm going to use the, use the lab cable. I remember it's also the lab one on the point A. Now the data is ready. We still need the power, right? So here we got the power code. You need to be aware about the color. The red is the positive and the blue is negative.
Now I can just close the consumption board and connect the power to the media converter. Once I plug in, you can see the power indicator is turned on, the link indicator also turned on, which means the media converter is getting both power and data from the back end. The last thing I need is just a short punch code to link the media converter to the camera. This output is the standard PoE, so the maximum distance from this media converter to the camera still can have 100 meter distance. Right, we can see the camera is moving, which means it's getting the power. Also can see the in link indicator is running, which means it's also have the data. Let's just wait for a while. Now I can see the camera is live. Okay, that's pretty much all for today's video. If you have any question, you can post it in the comment section below. See you next time.